It's hard to imagine Jason Witten scared. He's one of the Cowboys' all-time tough guys, helmet or not. But Witten grew up like too many other children, confused, angry, heartbroken. Simply put, his childhood was a nightmare. I had a dad that was uh, in domestic violence and drugs and alcohol and um, just had some serious issues. By age 12, Witten, his mom, and two other brothers had seen enough. They had lived through enough. They took off with nowhere to call home. We didn't know where, what was going to happen next in our lives. And my mom was trying to get out and get help and just really couldn't, couldn't do that uh, with my dad. And fortunately, my grandfather came in and, and took us. Dave Ryder was more than a granddad to Witten and his brothers. He was a father, a preacher, a football coach, a role model. He was basically everything the Witten boys never had that every child needs. As a 13-year-old kid, I mean, um, just an unbelievable impact that he had in my life, not just through football, but um, just taking a kid with, with some serious challenges around him and uh, some tough circumstances and just training me and, and teaching me and allowing me to chase my dreams, just a, such a, a special man in my life. Little did Witten know that his first football coach would prepare him for his toughest coach ever. I truly believe one of the reasons why I was able to mentally handle a guy like Coach Parcells um, was because of the way my granddad approached the game and um, how he just demanded perfection. And uh, so I learned so much from him and just truly an inspiration in my life and you know, wouldn't be sitting here today if it wasn't for the sacrifices he made. Nearly 20 years later, Jason the child would be proud of Jason the man, especially the dad. Witten and his wife Michelle have three children. They are, by all accounts, the all-American family. But Witten knows firsthand America has too many broken families. That's why in 2007, the Witten set up the SCORE Foundation, an organization designed to help families ripped apart by domestic violence. We want to try to put uh, people in their lives, like my granddad, that can be there every day uh, for them and, and help them overcome the obstacles that they have. And it's not to be recognized for an award, or it's not to be uh, to get a pat on the back. I'm fortunate to have that. I mean, uh, you know, I'm a father of three now, and so I mean, I understand the, what family's all about. And hey, it's not always perfect. And so we want to um, we want to pour into their lives and help them so that they can overcome the challenges that they have.